Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this video where we're exploring the essential oil of chrysanthemum. Now, chrysanthemum are classic flowers that are found all around the world, often gifted to different people, including our mothers. Although this flower has also been cherished in different countries, especially in parts of Asia for a long, long time, not only for its beauty, but also its use culinary, and we now are able to get an essential oil from those flowers. Now, this essential oil has this really unique kind of floral aroma that to me smells something like it's kind of powdery. I can kind of smell notes of chocolate in there. It's really hard to describe. Just as unique as the aroma is the chemistry. And this is a really powerful oil that can benefit our body in a whole range of ways. Of course, it is amazing for both our head, our heart, and it has spiritual and metaphysical aspects as well. In this video, we're going to explore the essential oil of chrysanthemum and all the different ways that you can use it to benefit you in your everyday life. There are two groups of essential oils that are great for the skin. The first are our florals, which are really good for the epidermis, the top layers of the skin. And then either your wood or your resin oils, think cedarwood, sandwood, myrrh, frankincense, copaiba, and so on. They're really good for the dermis, the deeper layers of the skin. So any floral oil is going to really help. So chrysanthemum oil applied to the face after cleansing and even the neck and over the chest as well. And then toned and moisturized over the top can really help to bring out your natural glow. This is also a really great oil to use as a natural fragrance. Do you know what is in perfumes and colognes? Yeah, sometimes it's some plant material, but a lot of these fragrances are made artificially. They'll have alcohols and even parts of animals, including horse urine and whale vomit. One of the things that has been found from looking at the ingredients in what we buy in these different um, perfumes and colognes, and this is from cheap ones all the way up to the luxurious expensive ones, is that many of those ingredients can impact our hormones. Now, your hormones aren't just about fertility and about periods. They are one of the two main forms that your body uses to communicate and affects both male and females. When these ingredients and perfumes or colognes disrupt our hormones, it disrupts the overall functioning of our body. So using essential oils as a natural fragrance is a really powerful thing to do. And chrysanthemum steps in beautifully for helping to support our hormone balance rather than being a disruptor and being a beautiful fragrance as well. When we look at the chemistry of this oil, a lot of the components in there help us to relax. So this is gonna be a great one to use at night. As well as using it on our face and inhaling that at night time, rolling it on the soles of your feet or applying it to the soles of the feet, or even popping a little bit in your diffuser will help you to just slip off nice and gently. It also has some antibacterial components to it as well. And I did see one great suggestion of actually applying it to um, different cleaning blends or if you've got anything on your skin or anything, you know, you're having some issues with bacteria at the moment, then chrysanthemum could step in and play a role there as well. So this is a really great oil to help you be beautiful, feel beautiful and rested and help to keep you healthy and clean. Not only are you gonna find that chrysanthemum is really quite calming to your emotions and your mind overall, but it can be used for some profound emotional healing. Chrysanthemum really helps with things such as uh, jealousy and rivalry. And so this can be really helpful for yourself, but also environments where there seems to be over competitiveness or people just not getting along. Maybe you have um, children or siblings or colleagues that aren't getting along. Either diffusing chrysanthemum oil or wearing it on yourself and being a human diffuser can be really helpful. Maybe you find that you're getting a little bit jealous about something. Well, normally when we're jealous about something is because someone has something that we desire and that can actually be turned into a positive motivation. Rather than treating that person poorly because we're jealous of them, well, how can we respect them and learn from them and realize that what they have or what they are doing is something that we actually want? We can look at them as a kind of spiritual teacher and grow rather than being a victim of our own jealousy or competitiveness. The other thing that chrysanthemum can be used for to help to bring new light and shed new light on past traumas. It allows us to see things that have happened in the past and maybe see how they have helped to build the muscles and the wisdom and the strength of who we are today. It really helps with forgiveness, both forgiveness to ourselves for maybe something that we may have you know, allowed to happen to ourselves when we beat ourselves up for making a mistake, and also forgiveness of other people. 
Now, forgiving doesn't mean necessarily that what you are saying happened is all right, or was right, but it may be saying, I'm choosing to let go of that pain. Chrysanthemum has a really uplifting um, kind of power about it. It raises your vibration. And thus, by letting go of all that pain, whether it be rivalry and competitiveness and jealousy, all this repressed anger and hurt, those things are going to hold you back and stop you from shining bright. Chrysanthemum's ultimate goal is for you to feel happy and joyous. And so, by letting go of these ruthless emotions that hold you back, chrysanthemum could be a really powerful support. In Sometimes we find ourselves in situations that are draining or dark or negative or even toxic. And working with chrysanthemum, diffusing it or anointing ourselves in it helps us to outshine any darkness. No matter what situation we're in, we can either be dragged into that and kind of fall into those lower ways of being, or we can be full of integrity and the best version of ourselves. This is what chrysanthemum will really help you to do in that way. Working with chrysanthemum can actually help you identify people and things around you that are maybe not good at you. Chrysanthemum encourages you to look at your inner circle. Are the people that you're spending the most time and attention and energy on, are they bringing out the best in you and helping you grow, or are they holding you back or even draining you? Chrysanthemum can actually be used to attract beneficial people into your life and thus can be really quite powerful in helping you to elevate and raise your vibration by the company that you make. Now, one thing that often fear, scares people a little bit when it comes to working with angels or guides or different things like that, they're like, what happens if I connect with an evil or you know, a, a spirit that has bad kind of intentions? Well, by bringing chrysanthemum into your space, it ensures that you're only working with the highest good, with the highest gods, angels, guides, totems, and so on. So whenever you are ready to elevate and shine brightly and not be drained by the darkness of the world, definitely reach for your chrysanthemum oil. You might have already started to guess which chakra chrysanthemum oil is going to work really well with. It's our solar plexus chakra. It's going to help you shine brightly. Of course, our solar plexus chakra is about our sociability, it's about our personal empowerment, and it's about our ability to shine and share our gifts with the world. And this oil really, really supports you in doing that. Not only does it help to ignite the light within you, but it helps you bring people into your life on this realm and the other realms that will support you to be the best version of yourself and to shine brightly. Because chrysanthemum stops that jealousy and that rivalry and that unhealthy competitiveness and even that anger, it allows you to get on really well with people and everyone rises together. It's kind of the essence that we get with the healthy solar plexus chakra, but also with chrysanthemum as well. It'll allow you to come up with ingenious ways to move forward, bright new ideas to challenges, and chrysanthemum is also really good when anointed on the um, say on the solar plexus chakra to actually give you the courage to try these new ideas, knowing that you've got support of people around you that will support you when you do fail. You know, if we don't fail, we haven't tried. And so this is a really great oil for giving us the confidence to go out there and have the support to see us learn and to grow. When you are ready to shine and ready to be around people that help you shine, definitely lean into chrysanthemum, focusing on that solar plexus chakra. Chrysanthemum can be blended to make some really nice blends. You know, you may want to mix it with some of your other floral blends to aromatically dress in, to where is your natural fragrance, as we were talking about before. Other oils such as black pepper, grapefruit, orange, sandalwood, frankincense and myrrh also can make some really nice body blends and diffuser blends. Another thought that I had of when I was looking at top antibacterial oils, they're oils like clove, um, thyme, oregano and tea tree. Their fragrance tends to be quite astringent and rather harsh. And the fact that there are some antibacterial aspects of chrysanthemum, blending that in could help to soften some of them when you need that kind of antibacterial oil combination. Another oil that really stepped forward what for um, the chrysanthemum kind of energy and when we're looking at the solar plexus energy is laurel. Laurel is another oil of the solar plexus and laurel is about victory and feeling comfortable winning. 
a lot of the time we feel bad about success. We feel bad about getting out there and trying. And so this is where Laurel could be a really great duo, where Chrysanthemum will allow you to feel confident to try different things. And having that victory mindset, or I will be successful mindset with Laurel, could be really great as well. Ginger, of course, works really well with the solar plexus chakra and allows us to have the power. Lemon helps to take away any darkness and helps our brilliant shine. Bergamo helps us with our uh, self-esteem. So all of these could be mixed together in whatever you find you need for your ideal solar plexus chakra blend. If you've tried chrysanthemum with some other oils and it worked really well for you, either for the body, the mind, the heart, or the spirit, please share with our crystal, uh, crystal and our essential oil community below by you know, sharing your idea, sharing your blend. We can all give it a try and see how it goes. When you're working with an essential oil, you can bring in other gifts of nature to help enhance whatever you're doing. You probably know by now that I love working with the mineral kingdom and I love working with different crystals. The crystal that I have decided to pair with chrysanthemum that feels really natural to me is tiger's eye. Now, Tiger's Eye is a really great protective crystal because it has these beautiful shimmering golden aspects to it. What this does is this actually works as a mirror and deflects low vibration energies and actually helps to raise our vibration. Isn't that stunning? And you've heard me talk about chrysanthemum doing that in the same way. You know, often people kind of stay around having a pity party or they wear a lot of black or they stay in those negative energies but both chrysanthemum and tiger's eye will actually encourage you to lift above that if you're flying up with the eagles then you don't need to worry about scratching around with all the chickens and what the chickens are doing and that's exactly what this combination allows you to do now with this i bring in the animal of tiger again cats are really interesting and one of my favorite animals both the domestic cats and the wild big cats that we have around the world. When you look at a cat, they don't walk around all day. They're not fully active all the time. They're, yes, they go out for hunting or for playing or for eating or all these different things, but when they've done that, they rest and they take a lot of time to rest. They teach us to not waste our energy on superfluous things. And a lot of the time we feel like we've got to please these people who we don't have, actually care about or who don't care about us. Tiger's like, hey, just follow your passions and put your energy in there. Because of such uplifting energy, I find that chrysanthemum works really well with sun and works with that Leo energy. Again, Leo governs our recreational aspect of life, our leisure, our pleasure, and our play. And make sure that we are enjoying the company we're keeping and enjoying what we're doing. So these all tie in really beautifully with chrysanthemum oil. Now remember when it comes to these kind of rare essential oils, and you may not have heard of chrysanthemum before, you want to make sure that you're getting it pure from the plant. Unfortunately, many, even the majority of essential oils that are sold around the world are made in laboratories and not gifted from Mother Nature or a plant at all. If you'd like help on making sure that you are getting pure essential oils, then please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to hear about any experience you've had with chrysanthemum oil, so please share that in the comment section below. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and talking a little bit about chrysanthemum. I'm Adam Barillet. Blessed be.